This is Phil Ebener bringing you the top 10 ways to make passive income. And now this list is special because sometimes I've seen lots of lists out there where they just list off a bunch of ways to make money online and passively, but it always seems unattainable. And this list is great because I'm actually making money in five of the 10 ways and I plan to start making money in the last five ways in the next couple years. So it's definitely attainable and I'll even be showing you the numbers and figures on the screen as I go through them so that you can see it's actually possible for a normal person. I started out not making any passive income online or any way possible and now I am. So let's get straight to it. The number one way to make passive income online for me is teaching online classes. This is what I do with a bulk of my time. I teach online classes. I sell them on Udemy, SkillFeed, Skillshare, and some other sites. And it's a great way to earn passive income if you have something that you want to teach. And I believe everyone has something that they can teach. The second way to make passive income is to sell eBooks on Amazon. And it's not that hard to write an eBook anymore. You can basically write edit and format an ebook right in Microsoft Word and upload it directly to the Kindle marketplace. And of course there's other marketplaces that sell books online, but I think the Kindle marketplace is the best one. I put up two books, I've made a couple hundred bucks since I put them up, basically making around a hundred bucks a month and it's been solid. And I started doing this after teaching online courses so that I can cross promote the books to my students online, but also I can sell my courses to the people that find my books directly on Amazon. Number three is to make passive income with YouTube. Most people, you watch YouTube videos and you see the ads and it bothers you and you just skip that ad. But some people, those ads actually are interesting. They click on them and the advertisers pay the video creator because of that. And so I have the Video School Online channel, but I also have some other micro YouTube channels that I'm starting and I've started that are making a little bit of passive income. So the Video School Online channel makes about 75 bucks a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, and it's been steadily increasing over the past couple of years. And that's awesome because 75 bucks might not seem a lot to you, but 750 bucks in a year, that pays for a month of rent in most places. The fourth way to make passive income is to become an affiliate. So an affiliate is someone who helps sell a product for another company. So if you have a blog or some sort of following on YouTube or wherever, any platform, you can recommend products. And if someone chooses to purchase that product because of you, you actually get a share of that income. How it works is that you share specific unique URLs to yourself so you sign up with the company and usually all these companies, most of them, they have a link at the bottom of their page that says affiliate or partner with us. So for example, I'm an affiliate for Bluehost.com which is website hosting. And so whenever anybody clicks on that Bluehost link from my website or one of my videos and purchases a hosting package, I make a little bit of income. And now I strongly urge you to just promote products that you actually enjoy and like and not just become someone who's just posting a bunch of links that look like spam. So I really highly recommend just promoting products that you use and that you trust because your followers will trust you if you're only promoting and becoming an affiliate for a certain amount of products and not just everything out there. But again, it's a nice way to make a little bit of extra income every month. The fifth way to make passive income that I like and that I'm doing right now is by investing investing for retirement or just for a later date. So as you might know, when you invest, you basically purchase a part of a company or some sort of institution out there. So there's two ways that you can make money through your investments in companies such as going through stocks or mutual funds. First, the company shares a bit of profit at the end of each quarter called a dividend. So if they're profitable, with all the shareholders, they give a little bit of cash out. Or second, the company is worth more over time. So you take Google, Apple, all these big companies. At the beginning, they're worth a certain amount, but over time, they grow and grow and grow. So the stocks themselves also grow. So you purchase it at a certain time, 
but 10 years later, maybe the stock is worth twice as much, 10 times as much. And of course, you have to be careful. It can go down and it could, the company can close down and you can lose all your money. On average, over the past 100 years, stocks have risen 7% per year, even with all the depressions and recessions, 7% on average. So if you're patient and you're playing the long game, investing is a great way to make passive income. So these next five ways of earning passive income are ways that I've tried in the past, haven't been successful at, and want to retry, or just ways I haven't tried out yet and I'm planning to over the next few years. So the first is website ads. Similar to YouTube ads, you can put ads on your website. You can go directly to a company or you can use something like Google to put ads on your website. And whenever someone clicks on them, you get a little bit of income. So it could be a few pennies, it could be 25 cents, it could be a dollar. And if you have a blog or a website with thousands of viewers per month, this could be quite profitable for you. Number seven is through app creation. There's an app for anything. I've had tons of ideas for apps and then I go on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and I see, oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. So it's very, very concentrated right now with lots of people trying to create the next big thing, the next Angry Birds. So creating apps now is a lot harder than it was five years ago or so when the App Store was just starting out, but it's still a profitable way to create a piece of software that rec can recurringly sell and bring in income every month. Stock photography. So there's lots of stock photography sites out and millions of people using these stock photography sites to purchase images and lots, thousands of photographers putting up images. There are some people making hundreds if not thousands of dollars selling their own stock photography and I'm excited to get into this game. The ninth way to make passive income, which isn't too passive but it is a recurring income, is through rental properties. So if you have a house or an apartment, you could rent out your spare bedroom or you can rent out the entire house or rent out an entire apartment if you own them. And this is a great way to make recurring income. Now it's a lot of work and if you have tenants that leave, if it's not a very stable marketplace, people are gonna be moving it out and in and that's a lot of work to try to find new renters. But when you do find that stable renter, it's a great way to make easy passive income month to month. The tenth and the last way to make passive income that I'm interested in is through drop shipping. Drop shipping is basically when you create a product or a brand and you have a product created and then it's automatically sent through a distributor to the purchaser without you having to do anything. So the main way to do this right now is through Amazon. And Amazon actually has an easy way to do drop shipping. So basically you create a product, you hire someone to build it. So say you are making a t-shirt. You hire a company to make t-shirts. Then you have them ship them to an Amazon facility that packages them and ships them whenever it is purchased. So you really don't have to do anything other than create the product, promote it, and then just take care of some of the logistics. But you don't have to actually be there making the shirt, you don't have to package it yourself. And it's a great way to make passive income if you can create a brand and some sort of iconic product that sells on its own. And so it's a lot of work up front, but there are, again, people making hundreds, even millions of dollars through drop shipping on Amazon. Those are the 10 ways that I think making passive income is doable, feasible. I've seen people doing it. I'm doing it in half of those ways and I really believe you could do it too. If you have any questions about any of these, please leave a comment below. Shoot me a message on videoschoolonline.com or YouTube or wherever you're watching this and we can really just dive into it and kind of talk about each one of these even in more depth. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.